Will Coty USDT get to the finish line? And will it deliver profits to us? Well, let's wait and see. You are welcome to Income Strategies, the place where you learn the skills to make money, to multiply your money, and to manage your money. All right, what do we have here? We've got Coty USDT, right? And currently, let's check what's going on. It's pumping. Wow, can you see this? This is pumping. This is pumping. We need to take a pie, a piece of the pie. All right, so let's quickly do this. Let's not waste time. 1745. Okay, if we pick this out and we add, uh, let's quickly see so we don't waste too much of our time. Oh, it's going up. Oh, it's going up. 597. Let's see. If I put this at 58, what will I get? Well, let's put it here. We put 58. What will I get? Ah, oh, $1.21. Hmm. Looks quite small. So, but what if I do 585? Okay, not bad. Let's go. Let us go. So, what I did after I've placed a trade, I'll explain to you quickly. But first of all, let's just go ahead and pick this, right? We don't want to waste time as much as possible. Because if we do, hmm, things are going to happen. So, we need to move fast. Go. Oh, we're in the queue. Let's cancel. Let us go. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. That's the reason why it didn't sell. Uh-oh. Did it go? It like it. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. It went. Oh, it didn't. What happened here? Oh, I thought it sold. Sorry. It didn't. <laughs> All right. See. It's still at 50, 5, 7, 4. Oh, my God. And it's still going up. Oh, I hope this will work for us. Let us see whether this is going to go. Let's not waste time. I want to go. Oh, my God. Did it sell? It did. Right on time. It did. Let's see. We've got 1740 here. Do we have any leftovers here? Not that much. Less than one cent. So we're good. We are good. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we'll get if we sell this. Uh, well, I, like I always say, people are saying do OCO, but I don't want to lose any money. I don't want to lose any money. All right. So because of that, I'll just put 8.5 and see what that's going to give me. Oh, that's $1.79. Why? Let's put, it went to where? Let's see. It went all the way to 5.97. All right, so what if I use 592 or 59? Yeah, I could use 59. Why not? 59 will give us how much? All right, I'm going to go for 59. Yeah, because I know that it has the propensity to get there. Good, so let's go ahead and take our sell limit. Okay, now, like I said, let's quickly go over why. We took our decision, okay? As you can see, oh, it was pumping then. It, it, now it's having a pullback, but it will definitely go up. You can see that the parabolic SARS is pushing up seriously. Pushing up seriously, right? So the thing is, I think we bought it at 5574, five, okay? So I know that currently we're at a little loss, but it's going to go over there. It's going to go over there. In the past two hours, can you see it ran all the way to where? Yeah, 5.79. Okay, let's see. In the past four hours, where did it get to? Go to 5.97. That's in the past five hours. So I'm expecting this to get here. Well, I'm expecting this to get here. All right, so it's going up. It's flipping and flopping. And let's wait and see. We're going to give it some time, and then we'll come back to share the results. See you shortly. All right, I'm back. And it seems like <laughs> Coty is a bit slow. All right. So as you can see, um, I'm trying to check on why it's moving really, really slow. And I'm wondering why. But it looks like we need to do some rescheduling and we need to uh, recalibrate this. Okay. So looking at it, like I said, I didn't want to do OCO because I, I didn't want to lose any money. <laughs> but anyways, we're here. Wow. It's gone down to 570. Mm. So let's look at this, right? This is where it ran to in the past uh, one hour. That is 579. Okay, 58. 
Okay, so in this case, I think I want to reschedule or recalibrate this to 5, 8. Um, so I'm going to cancel what we have here. I'm going to cancel that. And then I will just go ahead to bring this down. Okay, let's bring it to 5, 8, right? So now let's cancel this and recalibrate this and reset our limits. Okay, so if I take this to 8... That's okay. It's currently it's 572. If I take this to 58, what would it give me? All right. So let's me put in the entire amount. Ah, it's like 92 cents, really. Let me see if I put one. Mm, that's one. One dollar is fine. One percent. Let's work with this. I think we can work with this because looking at the chart at the last one hour, it actually went there. Uh, I think it's about to have a bull run. Ah. Uh, Will it go beyond 580? Mm. Well, I'm just going to put it at 581. And let's see whether this is going to change, whether it's going to quickly hit it. And let's just pick our 1% and let's run away. <laughs> okay. So let's just go with that and pick the entire thing. 1%. One, 1%. Let's see how it goes. How about that 1%? We're going gonna, we're gonna to land us back with, with uh, 90 cents. Because the trading fee, if you remember is 0.1 percent uh, right so 0.1 percent if i subtract that so i should be able to have you know a clear one percent let me see if i put this at five two um eight two okay i think that will work or five eight one one i just want to have enough to take care of the fees so one two i just want to have okay okay let's make it one two or let's make it one okay let's do this i'm going to change it to um 0582 at least i have enough to cover the cost of my transfer i mean sorry did i say transfer just now cover the cost of my transaction fees i think we'll just go with this and then just place it again okay let's do that okay so we're back in the queue let's hold on and see how long this will take see you shortly i'm back and see what i can see here it has already executed yeah, and so how much have we made? We've made $1.16. Now, the truth of the matter is we had to adjust our expectations to get this. And because we saw that, you know, it kept on moving up and down in a very slow manner. And that happens a lot with different coins, right? And that's why you need to understand the velocity of the coin and understand what exactly is going on in the market space. And when we looked over it, I mean, and we felt, wow, this is taking such a long time. You know, we just had to adjust our expectations. And in total, this trade took about over eight hours to get executed. And that's the truth about any trade you're doing. You cannot tell how long it's gonna take. Since you're not, we're not doing market order and everything's about limit order, right? Even, you know, I decided I was not going to do OCO because I didn't want to lose any money. Trust me, if I did OCO, it would have gone the way of loss because it actually would have gone lower than the amounts required. And then it would definitely would have executed at a loss. But I didn't want it to execute at a loss at all. And that's why I stopped with doing the limit order and knew that, okay, adjusting our expectations is cool, and then we're able to hit our target. So we didn't hit our target of $2 uh, plus, but we actually hit our target of $1 plus, and which is good. That is 1.16% profit, which is still good. You know, if you have to adjust your expectation on any trade, please do so. Do so, and then go ahead and take another trade. I hope we've learned something from today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.